Welcome to College Algebra. Today, uh, you're going to look at solving quadratic functions, or quadratic equations, rather. Uh, this is something you have done before in Algebra 1 and Algebra 2. However, like is the trend for the course, we're going to amp up the difficulty a little bit. Um, so we're going to use the quadratic formula, talk about the discriminant, and then also complete the square. Um, the quadratic formula and completing the square are two methods that can be used with every quadratic equation. Um, it'll be interesting to see which one you like better, which one you're faster at. Um, completing the square, I will say this, if you if you get good at both of them, so if you feel comfortable with both methods, <clears throat> completing the square usually wins, right? Like if you can get where you can do that pretty well, um, it's it's pretty quick, um, and it's maybe a little less writing uh, than completing or using the quadratic formula. So if you if you're like kind of like don't like the quadratic formula because it takes a long time to write out, uh, then spend some time learning completing the square, uh, which it is tough to learn, so there'll be a learning curve there. Um, but once you get it down, it's usually a little quicker than the quadratic formula. Um, so kind of keep that in mind as you're working through the notes and the problems today, but you need to practice both. Um, completing the square is also a skill you will need for other um, things we'll do later in the class, and if you you know, move on to other math classes. It's a good skill to have, uh, or a tool, if you will, in your toolbox. Um, so today you have a notes worksheet to download, a video to watch. Um, don't watch the video just like to get through it and watch it, like really watch it to try to learn. So that means you're pausing often to think, you're trying to figure out like why and how, excuse me, to do each step. Uh, if, you, if you're confused on something, make a note, write it down, and, and shoot me an email or drop in on the Zoom room. And same goes with the homework. Don't just do it to get it done. Do it to practice. Do it to learn. Um, and just check your work as you go. Uh, if you're missing questions, make sure you're making note of those and writing them down and either shooting me an email or uh, drop it on the Zoom room. Also, um, you know, don't don't underestimate the help uh, you can get from people in your home, even if they don't know math, like they don't understand that. Just by talking through a problem with some time, someone, uh, sometimes that clicks and that'll help your thinking a little bit. So if you're stuck on a problem, run it by someone in your home, try to teach them what you know about it. And it might be that that's what um, makes it click for you and um, you figure it out. Uh, but anyway, get help if you, if you need it for sure. Um, and good luck with this. Enjoy solving quadratic equations.